everyone, it's Jordan Robertson with Benzinga, and joining me today is Harrison Gross, CEO and co-founder of Innovative Eyewear. How are you today? I'm doing great, thanks for having me. Yeah, of course, great to have you back. So can you give us a quick overview of your company? Yeah, absolutely. We started a company several years ago with the mission of creating the first comfortable, prescription-ready smart eyewear. Uh, we have the goal of really bringing this emerging category of wearables to the mass market and to the mainstream for the first time. Uh, eyewear is different from other wearables. There's a lot more nuance in the development and the engineering of eyewear. Uh, and you need a lot more variety to meet the needs of the optical market uh, compared to a traditional wearable. So we have a lot of challenges that we've had to overcome in really bringing this category to the mass market. Um, but that's our core focus as a company is making the category of smart eyewear affordable, accessible, and enjoyable for the average person. And what would you say sets Innovative's technology apart? Um, well, we're definitely an optical first uh, company. Uh, we develop our glasses for people that wear glasses all day, every day, um, which sets us apart from other smart eyewear products that are intended for sort of limited use or specific use cases and not necessarily intended to correct your vision all day long. Um, so that's a core differentiator. In addition to that, uh, we've brought together a really excellent team that combines a lot of experience from traditional eyewear and audio and electronics engineering and brings those two together to create our unique product. And can you talk to me a little about Lucid Light 2.0? What improvements were made there? Yeah, so we've been working on this new product for years, really. Uh, this is the culmination of, um, of a lot of research and development into smart eyewear over the years. Um, this is our uh, fifth or sixth product that we've launched. So we've really learned a lot along the way about what is necessary to make a successful smart eyewear line. Um, we have a couple of key product improvements over our last Lucid Light. Um, namely, we've added two more speakers. So you get a more immersive, rich audio experience from listening to music on these glasses compared to our older models. In addition to that, we've also expanded the battery life by 50%. So it's now 12 hours of playback per charge which is the longest of any smart eyewear to our knowledge and also longer than the vast majority of true wireless headphones. Um, so it's really an excellent tool for uh, enjoying audio all day long. Um, and uh, finally, we've got a great uh, design team working on these glasses. Um, our design team comes with experience from uh, Ray-Ban, uh, Michael Kors, Coach, um, some of the leading uh, eyewear brands out there. And they've brought this expertise and this attention to detail to smart eyewear um, and it's resulted in a really magnificent looking line of smart glasses um, that doesn't look quite like anything else on, uh, that's out there today. Um, so very excited about the style of the new glasses. Uh, we just launched 10 new styles. We've got another five coming later this month. Um, and uh, we really think that these glasses have really elevated what smart eyewear can be. Wonderful. And you just announced a major update for your app, Verb. What's new there? Yeah, absolutely. Two uh, key feature updates for the Verb social audio application. Um, one is we've added the on-air feature, which allows you to host a live audio chat room uh, with up to 100 users. Um, this is a popular feature that's been deployed in several different apps um, uh, in recent years to great effect. And what's different about it in Verb is that uh, it's designed for hands-free use. So you'll be able to uh, use this feature in Verb to communicate with a large team of people uh, through our glasses and through other hearables. Um, we're also uh, working on some improvements to this feature to be able to activate it completely through Siri, uh, be able to create, um, you know, a, a, let's say a, a, you have a group of people that you frequently talk to uh, in group chat, um, create an audio group chat with a single wake word. Um, so that's something that we're working on to improve this feature. We've also added the ability to import uh, audio into Verb and post it uh, as a regular Verb post. So that means that these all these content creators that have huge audio content libraries that they've been creating over the years on uh, for the podcast platform and for other social audio platforms, will be able to port all of that content into Verb and have another place to, uh, to monetize and express themselves. Um, so we're really excited about these two new features because they really make Verb a lot more practical uh, for the average audio content creator. That is so exciting. And what sort of features are you hoping to add in the next few years to your eyewear? And how about even long-term? Well, I think the key challenge right now is still having the huge variety of fit and finish required uh, in, in, in the amount of diversity that is required of our product line to be able to fit every face. Um, when you go into a lens crafter, you know, there's a reason that there's 500 frames on the wall. Uh, everybody has a very particular taste when it comes to eyewear. It's something that you wear on your face all day, every day. 
It's a true extension of your personality. So you really do need uh, a large amount of variety, not just in the sizing, uh, but in the styles as well. So that's a really um, core goal of our company is to, in the next year or so, we want to really have about 50 uh, different varieties for people to choose from so that just about everybody can find a pair of lucid glasses that looks good and feels good on them. In addition to that, uh, we're developing a Bluetooth safety eyewear product, which will be the first of its kind. Uh, very excited about this product. They'll be launching in H2 this year. And we think that uh, it will be an incredible tool, especially when used with the Verb app, um, for team communications and eye protection in one. Um, so we think that that product is going to be really useful for uh, people all around the world that are working in industrial teams and need to be in close communication uh, with their coworkers while also protecting and correcting their vision. In addition to that, we are uh, launching a couple of other lines of eyewear this year. Um, we have our first line of Nautica powered by Lucid glasses coming out in the summer. Uh, we also have a line of Eddie Bauer uh, powered by Lucid glasses, which will be coming out uh, closer to the holidays. Finally, uh, we're trying to introduce some sport frames uh, either later this year or early next year um, to be able to bring the smart audio concept into the sport performance eyewear market, uh, which we think is another great candidate for our technology. Uh, ultimately, there's four major types of eyewear, ready to wear sunglasses, optical eyeglasses, safety glasses, and sport glasses. And we're looking to uh, bring our smart technology into all four of these categories. Absolutely. We love that. And lastly, what advancements in technology do we need to truly drive adoption of smart glasses and other wearables? Um, the tech is really getting there. There's not too much uh, left that's missing um, in terms of, you know, wearability, comfort, style, battery life. You know, all of the key pieces of the puzzle have fallen into place really in the last you know few months. Um, I think it's it, the main challenge now for smart eyewear is awareness. The average person on the street still doesn't know about smart glasses. If they do have any concept of smart glasses, it's a very hazy idea about Google Glass, which was already almost 10 years ago. Um, I think, you know, we just need we need awareness. We need the right influencers and the right voices, um, you know, sharing this platform with the greater public. And, and once that awareness is there uh, and people actually try the glasses on, uh, listen to their first Beatles song through these glasses, you know, they immediately appreciate the, what the product can do for them. Uh, and oftentimes they convert to a lucid customer on the spot. Um, so it really is about, you know, the awareness and letting people try these glasses in person, getting them in those retail locations um, to enable those experiences. Uh, once that awareness is there, uh, we're confident that smart eyewear will become um, the greater portion of the eyewear market writ large. Definitely. Well, that's all I have for today, Harrison. Thanks so much for joining us and hope to hear from you again soon. Yeah, it's been a pleasure and I look forward to talking to you soon.